just to make this idea more concrete, we are going to look at another dealer router example where we have two dealers, strat A and strat B. Strat A is going to send a message to the router socket and the router socket is going to send that message to dealer B. Now, your imagination can take this as far as it needs to be. You can have dealers to dealers, you can have routers to routers, you can have dealers to routers, and uh, it, it's really it, whatever you can imagine with this, you can pretty much uh, do. Dealer and router sockets completely change the game, and um, just a, a, a limited example I thought would be helpful to show. Here we're starting off with the example from last time. We're going to take the contents of our main function and create two threads. The first thread of strat A is going to be a sender thread, and the second thread is going to be a receiver. A thing to note here is that unlike the request and reply sockets, you can keep sending on dealer sockets or keep receiving on dealer sockets. There is no need to complete the send receive cycle like we did with the request and reply sockets. And as a side note, the reason we're using the ZMQ underscore add on header and uh, not the zmq.hpp header is because that zmq colon colon receive multipart function that is part of the zmq underscore add on header which actually itself uh, includes the zmq.hpp header. And there you have it, messages from strat A are being router, routed uh, to strat B. Pretty straightforward.